Hi, Tiffany. What's up? Hi. I just wanted to call because I disagree with you about um, when you drew the example about Americans not being liberty loving, and you drew the comparison that a woman in um, Afghanistan who's trying to overcome the suppression of the Taliban and everything they felt about women and all that stuff and the woman in Africa and things like that. But where me and you draw a discrepancy because, you know, I know a lot of people say they agree with most of the things you say, and I actually do, but I disagree with you about that because it's like you're not even listening to what you yourself are saying because you, in the same sense, will turn around and say that urban blacks or, you know, the black women in America and so forth and so on, your position on that is that if you're on welfare and, or if you have any kind of government assistance or if your kids go to public school, then that's them depending on the government and that's Where in the I hell did black come into this? Well, but no, no, no. Well, I, well, I'm speaking specifically. Of, okay, we can, we can, we can even cut. We, we can. Well, no, I mean, why did you find it necessary to take this whole discussion about where are the brave people? And okay. you know, I, okay. you know, okay. and then all of a sudden, you had to make it about race. Step back, and even your position now about me, about me making it a black thing. I, I, I even, I even think you, you do that often. To, 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 I think you're erroneous in that, and and I'm gonna and I'm gonna and, and erroneous in what? Okay, listen, I'll take away the black component if that bothers you. Okay, I'll take I, it away because it's asinine, not okay, because it okay, bothers okay, me. Okay, it's asinine. Okay, it's asinine. You you don't see what I'm saying? So yeah. It's asinine. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll take that away. I'll just say any group of people anywhere who are suppressed. Who are who? Where their liberty has been suppressed in any way, form, or fashion? I'm only using that as an example. Have you been suppressed? Well, of course I have. How? Of course I have. How? You, just let me finish my point. No, I want you to tell me how you've been suppressed. Okay. It, I, I've been suppressed in, in, in a mental way, and it's a direct oh. effect. It's a direct effect of, of, of a, it's a cultural kind of thing, and it, it is a direct effect of slavery. And oh, God. Way, you're, yeah, you're, you're suffering from slavery, right, Tiffany? Yeah. Slay, uh, you're suffering from slavery. Oh, God. God, am, when do you stop on. making the damned excuses for whatever failures or problems you have had? Do you know how lame and asinine it is for somebody like you to be living in a country like this with as much opportunity that we have, and you run into some rough spots along the road, and you say, it's because of slavery. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not Aren't you kidding. embarrassed? That's, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. You misunderstanding what I'm saying because you're not allowing me to finish. Oh yeah. That's, that's what you. That's what it seemed like I'm saying. But what I'm. I thought I was you, sitting right here on my big fat white butt allowing you to finish. Now all of a sudden no, I'm no, finding no, out no, I'm not. I, I haven't said any of that. I haven't said any of that, sir. Okay. And I'm just telling you. Just you just said I'm not allowing you to finish. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, but go ahead. I'm not go ahead. saying yeah. what you're telling me. Listen. You making your argument towards me right now. Now you always espousing logic, reason, rationale, but you being irrational right now because you espousing that I am making a statement that my, that the premise of me calling you is something that I'm telling you directly is not what I'm saying. And and I, and I'm asking you to allow me to finish yeah, what I'm ahead. saying, and I'm allowing you to finish me with what I'm saying so that you can see my point. Okay. Okay. So the point that I'm making to you is that I'm not trying. I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to play the race card. I'm not trying to play the wow, wow. Oh, I'm black. Oh, I'm on welfare. Oh, my my baby daddy in prison. Did it. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to play that game because I still think that I'm responsible for the choices that I make in my life. But what I'm saying is, when a group, when you have, when you have a, a group. I'm sorry, that's my baby. I'm sorry. When you when you have a group of people who have a certain type of mentality, that's 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 what they see. You know. I'm saying you can't that they 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 have a direct that the way they think is directly a result of the way their mama thought and the way her mama thought you know what I'm saying it just get passed down through the generations and even you acknowledging that by saying the way what happens with people who are living in a different country who made a bit who may who may have grew up in Stalinist Russia or who may have grew up under Hitler I'm not saying that that you because you're a successful white person are wrong in any way form or fashion I'm not okay, saying not, 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 being okay. white or being now, now, okay, Tiffany, what I said, and this, this all came from my discussion on the national anthem, 
and I was agreeing with Bill Press when he said, what's this about the home of the brave? Does that mean that there aren't brave people somewhere else? And I brought up a young woman in Afghanistan who might be pursuing an education, knowing that if the Taliban catches her pursuing an education, they will shoot her dead on the spot. I brought up a young woman in Somalia protesting and becoming an activist against female genital mutilation, knowing that some of the uh, fundamentalists in that country would execute her on the spot if they got a chance to. And then I said, these are brave people. We have people in this country that can't even face retirement without government help, while these people over there are putting their lives on the line uh, uh, for the causes they believe in. And uh, that, that's what I, and then all of a sudden you call up and you're upset with me. You plug a racial compute, uh, a component into it. And you, Belinda, you tell Belinda, I disagree with Neil about blacks on welfare. That's why I took the call. Where the hell did I disagree with Neil about blacks on welfare? Okay. Where did that come that, from? That came, that, that came from this. And, and, and it's, that, that's, that's more of a specific in the general, the general point that I'm trying to make. And the general point that I'm trying to make is, what did you just say? You just say that you just said that it's brave people elsewhere. You said that um, the people that, that, that love that will do things despite their circumstances, right? That arise above, that arise above, that what the enslavement that maybe they have had, right? The things that maybe that are out of their control. That are out of that control, and then you talk about uh, talking about the the psychology of a person who can't even go into retirement of, without government dependent. And I'm saying that the psychology of that person is a direct direct um, a direct effect. It's, it's a direct response to a cultural issue of of slavery. It's kind of like the point you you know you know when you you know you said something. Uh, like, and I'm I, telling you that that is a convenient excuse it's a convenient excuse if you if you if you didn't experience that it's it, i mean it looked like a convenient excuse for you because you don't know what that's like it looked it, it look like it's a convenience for you because you grew up with the father it looked like a convenience uh, inconvenience uh, are, are you did, did you grow is your baby growing up with the father no nah, he in prison he in prison he, I, I didn't make, I, I'm telling you, I'm a walk, this, this, this is, this is why I get, get, get like I get about it, because honestly, I've been, I've been kind of like, um, torn about all of this. Is he in prison because of slavery? No, 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 I'm not, listen, I'm talking about because it's the effects of it, and that's what I'm saying, and if you, if you, if you keep ignoring that, and just, and just, just dismissing the people, and dismissing the fact of why the issue is what it is, instead of just moaning and groaning about the results and how it's pulling, you know, people like that are, you know, um, leeches of society and all this different kind of stuff, but you, you completely ignoring the reason and the why. And but you can acknowledge it and stay in Russia under Stalin. You can you can acknowledge it with, with Obama, but you can't it just it take the personal element out of it and just say, okay, this is how people like this act when this happens to them, when this happens to them, and that's all I'm saying. So if somebody, if, it's kind of like you again, you brought up. I, 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 the only reason that I even have a problem with this, and they just said, oh, this, forget this cracker, he racist, because I get what you're saying. Because you made a point a long time ago where you brought drew the comparison and you said that black Republicans are like uh, to, to to Democrats are like slaves that left the plantation. But and, and I start to think about that. And that's actually when I became a conservative. Now mind you, you're talking to a, a thirty four year old black woman who is a conservative who is on welfare. I got I got the Obama phone. I got I mean whatever you need about whatever government process you can think of. I, that's me. I'm you don't really call it. Who you, no, no, Tiffany, you, you don't you don't really call it an Obama phone, do you? Huh? You don't really call that an Obama phone, do you? They, I'm telling you, we really call it an Obama phone. I can say I go to the, I go to the store, right? I go to the, I go walk up to the store. I go to the hairdresser, and people be like, Oh, I got my Obama phone, girl. I got my Obama phone, and and, and this ain't that's like a good thing. I'm telling you, Neil, and it's a re 